Okay, so um, I know I start out every single video with okay, so I don't know why. Um, we're looking at this, and we're gonna, we're gonna, since the format for a cyclotron is say north on the bottom, south on the top, and then a disc in the middle, or something in the middle with either north and south on it, like half and half, or north and neutral, south and neutral. All I know is that it's like half the disc or half of whatever you want to spin is one or the other. You usually want the bottom to push up and the top to push down or to lift up based on what you're doing. And I think it's going to be push up and lift up. And then I got to make a special disc. And I got to decide whether I want to go magnet on magnet or more like what's going on here. So let me explain these discs just a little bit more here. Um, what I did is I put them all facing the same way on each side. So this is all north. All this is north. And they're so close together that it, um, it doesn't, you would think it would force out the south more predominantly, but it doesn't. It hides the south. So you got an almost perfect levitation. I mean, you can feel when the magnets pass. But it's so faint. And I mean, like, this is an 8 inch. I, I, I explain this a lot too. That these are not levitating magnet on magnet. It's not like there's something underneath or on top of this directly. See, it spins like it's been greased up and oiled up and. You know, but it'll stop too because there's that faint south presence. But I mean, it's faint, so it, it, it'll always eventually stop. But in this format, it can be overcome for a while. I mean, you know, it can be overcome forever, but it's the least amount of energy you need to put in. If you know you have to put energy in, if you know you have to have a charge to make it work, then uh, you would implement that charge as needed. You would build a, a system where you could like hit a button or press a gas pedal. Some people like to keep the foot on the gas the whole time, and that's cool too. I don't have a problem with that. Just stay in the fast lane then. And if, if somebody wants to go cruising in the fast lane, like cruise control in the fast lane, you lay on that horn until they got like that, till their eardrums pop. That's stupid. Okay, moving on. So if you can image in your head, these discs are big magnets uh, with the north and the south side. So. I can use these existing discs for the north and the south, top and bottom of the cyclotron. But I gotta make that special disc for the center. I think I'm gonna go eight inches. Just make another eight incher, because since I already have two eight inches that are complete. And that's cool. Or if we're gonna go not magnet on magnet, which another eight would definitely be, but say eight on top, eight on bottom, six is in the middle. That might be interesting. Wouldn't be able to see it very well, but. So like real quick, they can be 
flip-flop anyway to make a certain scenario work. Yes, if you put them on north-south facing each other, they will pull together and it will be difficult to get them apart. But they come apart, so that's good news. I just kind of got into using the ferrite donut magnets. I'm going to give you the specs real quick of each disc, what makes them special. Um, not necessarily special as in nobody else can get it, but special as in the piece of the puzzle that fits with another piece of the puzzle. And we got, uh, let's see, a quarter inch pole. And each one of these wooden discs here have a quarter inch hole. So we got quarter inch poles for quarter inch holes. That's right. I mean, they're three feet long, but a quarter inch in diameter. <laughs> and you know what? That's a perfect fit, so don't complain. <laughs> and that's what, another thing which allows them to spin so freely. But a strange thing, so pardon me, we're walking through here, is that for these discs, we use graphite powder lubricant. This stuff gets all over everything. Next thing I'm going to try, along with my logic setup and my pulsing, is a vacuum. I got my pump, I got my plate, and my like. And so you can see everything that's going on. You don't have to look through the top, you can look through the sides as well, which makes it pretty cool. And uh, that should be interesting. See if we can get any of this stuff to float. <laughs> I don't think we will because the magnets are just too heavy. But that would be interesting if it happens. I mean, if it... Because it's not zero gravity, it's just zero air. It should be zero gravity, though, right? Well, not zero gravity, but uh, artificially. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but it'll be fun to find out. All right, thank you very much. Peace out.